Um, I have to deal with the political reality. Um, anybody, look, you either want to make a political statement or you actually want to change public policy in the state. I think everybody will admit, unless we have the political will to put the lottery back on the ballot and get rid of it, we are not going to stop the expansion of gaming. It is something that people like to do. It's like asking people, you know, well, why don't we just make alcohol illegal? I mean, go ahead and try that one. It's not going to work. Um, we have to deal with the political reality of where we are. People enjoy, from an entertainment standpoint, gaming. But what we have right now in Florida is our entire gaming structure caters to those people in the state. And to, you know, it's predatory gaming. So if we are going to be a gaming state, what do we want to be? Well, if we're going to have it, we might as well create the kind of gaming that brings in international tourists. That actually creates... One of the things that we wanted to change in the narrative is that every single time the gaming has been um, discussed in the state, when it was a lottery and when it was everything else, like Ellen said, it was wrapped in children, wrapped in education, and I'm not going to make that false premise. It's not about that. It's about recognizing that there's an industry in the state that without a strategic vision and without a recognition that it's here, has been growing, has been proliferating over the last 20 years to now making Florida the third or fourth largest gaming state. So we're not going to talk about education, we're not going to talk about revenues, because that's not what this bill is about. This bill is about bringing, harnessing in an industry that is essentially kind of hodgepodging its way into, you know, grow into a growing um, industry without any kind of legislative authority, without any kind of real legislative control. And all you end up seeing is we have statutes that have that that are Swiss cheese full of, loop, of loopholes where anybody can just cut, kind of come in, find a clever way to get a new license. And what we have as far as controlling or regulating them is DBPR, which essentially regulates every other industry in the world. So all you end up getting is what, what, what amounts to the pulling of an occupational license at that point from DBPR.